hi guys it's your girl mk thank you very much for clicking on this video if you subscribe to my channel or you liked commented on any of my videos thank you thank you for today we're just doing a review on a mia secret beginner nail kit and this is all the products that come in that kit so i just compared some of them against my hand against my fingers so you can just see how small the products are so guys i got this kit i ordered it and then i waited for it for about like a week and then i it was a little while back and i practiced a little bit on it so i just wanted to give you guys the best review on this product so i didn't want to just like buy it and then get you a review and then later the brush is the worst so what i'm giving you guys is an honest opinion of what i think of this kid I absolutely hate these curved tips. I'm sure there's someone that can relate, but I don't know. It just gives me that claw thing. I really am not a fan of curved tips, but for the sake of this video, we're going to use them and see what they look like in the end. So guys, when you get a new file, you always make sure just to season it before you use it or else you'll cut someone's flesh off. So here I just get the tip and then try to compare it against the finger. And then if it's too big, I just file it a little bit. It's always better to go with a bigger tip than to go with a smaller one. So all I do is just file it and make sure it fits the tip from side to side and then I go on to glue it onto the plastic finger so guys I had to hold on to this tip since it's a plastic finger it was so hard to glue the tip but then I had to hold on to it for a few seconds but then yeah when we're done this is the finished look so here what I did was I got the dipping dish and then I poured the monomer with the brush. That's the easiest way of pouring your liquid because if you just pour it, it's going to spill everywhere. So using your brush is the easiest way to pour it. So I just get some liquid. I didn't get too much since I'm just going to do it on one finger. All I was doing here was trying to like get all air bubbles and then the packaging, you know, the brush comes with something like a white packaging, um, little particles. I don't know how to call that, but then you need to clean that out in the liquid. So that's what I was doing here. I was a little rough on the brush, but yeah. So, and then I went on and filed the sides of the fingertip. I was gonna do a square shape, so the shape was fine for me. There was not a lot of filing to do. So what you do here is just get the tip cutter and then just cut the tip to the desired length of the client or whoever. So this is the length my client wanted, so that's what I gave her. So I just brush off the dust and then guys, please don't forget to push back the cuticles and then to file the natural nail a little bit before you apply the nail prep, which I'm going to apply. 
that just helps with to prevent any type of lifting after the nail prep i'm just going to apply the bond which will make sure your nail does not lift just like it's called bond it's gonna bond everything together so once it dries you can start applying your acrylic so guys as you can see here the packaging of the powder is very secure like they close it very well i had a tough time opening this acrylic powders but then um i'm also just showing you how much of it comes in this little container the bristles on the brush keep falling off guys as you can see like where i'm showing you but it's still a very very good brush for a beginner to just practice with and i promise like i had no issues with it so guys here i'm just showing you how i pick up my pearl dip the brush into the monomer and then dip it into the powder and then that's how my ball looks like my acrylic ball i'll just place it on the finger and then i'll just wait for a clay like consistency and then i'll just start tapping down on it until it reaches to the little spots or places i want it to get into while my finger is pointing down i'll just after tapping just brush it down just get another pearl and just continue the same process until i build up the apex So guys, the brush just gets a lot of product build up very quickly. So you just need to continue cleaning it. But then, yeah, it's a good brush, guys. It's a good brush. So guys, from here, just continue watching. I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix some glitter in the end to get the finished product. So you want to stay tuned for that. Just continue watching how I do the application and then I'll come back to you guys. So guys, I got this Amazon little kit and that is why I inserted the picture. This is where I got this white um, dapping dish. So yes, that is another kit I got, which I was not satisfied with the acrylic at all. If you watch other videos, they would tell you it's like you can work with it. But I personally, personally do not like the acrylic it dries very quickly for a beginner i would i would really really advise you not to get that kit unless it's for everything else because i got a lot of stuff in that kit like the cuticle pushers the nail tip cutters and the brushes and stuff like that 
then you can get it and then maybe just get acrylic powder and monomer from somewhere else so guys the glitter i'm showing you i also just got from that kit it comes with a lot of glitter and then i just purchased another little set with stickers and hearts and butterflies so i just mixed it in that glitter added a little bit of clear acrylic So guys, here I'm just applying the glitter mix to the nail and wherever I see fit where there's spaces, I just push it into whatever little holes I see. And then after that, I'll just cap it with the clear acrylic powder. So guys, here I'm just encapsulating the nail with the clear acrylic powder so that when we file, it does not file off our glitter mixture. Look at this client's like flesh like i filed on top like this is the part where you're not supposed to touch it all i killed this person like she's not coming back oh my but the nail looks good guys that is what i did the kit is actually the best for beginners according to what i see <laughs> This is what the brush looks like at the moment. This is a good kit for a beginner, honestly. I got a kit from Amazon, this cheap nail kit, and it was the worst. So if you're planning on getting one, this is the best. <laughs> Comment down below if you like this design, guys. Nail kit, I got this kit for $24, and I think it's worth the price. So I didn't want to just give you a review of something I just bought so I had it for a little bit just to like I practiced on it with it for a little bit so I can just see how the brush works and 
how the buffer, the files, the nail prep and everything works. So it's actually a good deal. I feel like this will run out quicker, but yeah, we good, we good. You get everything you need as a beginner, so go for it. Go for this kid. I promise you, you'll be happy. So we just buff the nail to remove the scratches we made when we were using the file. And then from there, we'll use the Mere Secret top code. Okay, so that should be smooth enough. So we're just gonna we're just gonna finish it off with the top coat and see what this is just so satisfying. Guys, I think I did good for someone that's just beginning. I did good. It, it's so pretty. I think I cut her on her cuticles on the flesh. Like, <laughs> anywho. So we'll just add another layer. We'll just add another layer of the top coat. And then see. I was so afraid that there's going to be air bubbles but i don't see any so guys go for the mere secret it's the best monomer and acrylic powder you can get as a beginner from another beginner to another beginner trust me this is the best so guys i decided to put a little sticker on the top of the nail i'm just not sure in what order but since i had top coat on it already i just put on the butterfly sticker and then top it off with some top coat Finally, I got it right and then I placed it on the nail and it looks so pretty like The work was all worth it. Like all of the work I did was worth it Guys, this is just to show that I'm a beginner like I'm sure you can see how much I struggled I didn't want to edit anything out so you can just see but in the end guys hard work always pays off and a little bit of patience